Hi everybody, today I want to talk about coping skills. Coping skills are super important, especially now because everybody's kind of stressed out and worried and maybe not feeling so great. So one of you, so coping skills can look different to everybody. And sometimes we're in different moods and need different things. Sometimes when we're sad, we need something different than when we're angry, different things. So there's something I want to touch on, which is called HALT. If you're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired, do something. Get some food. Take a nap. Relax a little bit. Talk to somebody. Do something. So coping skills can look a lot of different ways. So for instance, sometimes I listen to music. Look, I've got the Spice Girls here. Sometimes I need some heavy metal when I'm mad. Sometimes I need something light and soft. Or if you're sad, listen to an Adele song. That always works because her stuff is just really sad. Another coping skill we can do is arts and crafts. Look, I, I colored this llama drinking a cold beverage. Yeah, that's always nice. We can do arts and crafts like make necklaces. This is some glitter glue. So you can make a pretty picture. We can read a book. Yeah, those things that have words in them. Sometimes they just have pictures, like magazines have pictures. Those are good, too. Uh, other things that we can do are we can, some of us are very spiritual, so we can pray or meditate different things. Meditation's a really good thing. That's just focusing on our breathing. So breathing, let's practice that. Breathe in, one, two, three, out, one, two, three, in, one, two, three, out, one, two, three. Try this at least 10 times. See if it helps. Maybe it might not in the moment. I've also taken baths or showers. Sometimes that can help to calm. Sometimes talking to a friend can help too. Exercising is a good thing. We can never get too much. We can just get buff and really strong too. Uh, sometimes one of my coping skills is baking. There's something about baking that just helps me feel more calm and relaxed and everything. Sometimes helping others, that can be a good thing. Hey mom, what do you need? Hey, host home provider, how can I help you? Stuff like that. Sometimes, so meet Wooly, Wooly Mammoth. Yep. Wooly is one of my good friends. Sometimes I can say, hey Wooly, can we talk? Yeah, let's talk. Oh, Wooly, I also need a hug. Oh, I feel so good. So much better. So those are just some good coping skills that we can use. I got to see if I missed anything. Another good thing is to ask for what we need. Say we're feeling upset. I don't know what I need. Sometimes our friends and staff and providers and family can help us figure out what we need. Sometimes, you know, having a Zoom or talking to somebody on the phone, texting, those are good things to do. So that's it for now. Take care, everybody. See you later. Miss y'all. Bye-bye.